vitro fertilization, um, or IVF it is, is commonly referred to, is the process of fertilizing eggs outside the body. Um, so in vitro refers to a laboratory environment. So the idea is that a woman is given medications which come in the form of injections um, daily to grow eggs on the ovary. And the goal of in vitro fertilization is to grow multiple eggs. Those eggs are then retrieved through a minor surgical procedure which is done through the vagina using an ultrasound. So there is no incision um, anywhere on the body, no stitches for example. The eggs are retrieved through the vagina and then they are fertilized in the laboratory with um, the partner's sperm. So the fertilization occurs in the laboratory. After fertilization, the fertilized eggs, which are referred to as embryos, are grown in the laboratory, typically for between three and five days, depending on the circumstance of the couple. And then the, um, the embryos are selected to be transferred to the uterus. So in the process of in vitro fertilization, the fallopian tubes, which are part of the woman's reproductive anatomy, that normally is responsible or the site of eggs and sperm coming together and making an embryo are completely removed from the process of making a baby. We choose the number of embryos to transfer to a woman's uterus based on many factors, primarily her age. Most commonly, people will have two embryos transferred to the uterus and even with that, the majority of people who become pregnant after IVF will have a singleton pregnancy or be pregnant with one child. However, when you transfer two embryos or more for certain reasons, uh, circumstances, there, are, there is a higher risk of multiple pregnancy or multiple gestation, usually in the form of twins. And the risk of that after in vitro fertilization is between 20 and 30% depending on your age and some other factors. So in vitro fertilization is utilizing eggs that the woman is born with, but it's getting them to grow up together. Whereas in a typical menstrual cycle and every month for a woman, she's going to make many eggs start towards the process of growing and usually only one will prevail and ovulate in the end. With in vitro fertilization, all of those eggs that month that have started to grow um, the goal is to get them to grow up together so that instead of having one egg ovulated, multiple eggs are retrieved. The reason we need multiple eggs in IVF to be retrieved is not every egg that is retrieved is capable of being fertilized. And so there's a certain number of eggs that will be lost in the fertilization process where the sperm and the egg come together. And then not every combination of egg and sperm or every fertilization is fit to make a baby. So there's also some loss of embryos throughout the culture process. So you need to start with more than one egg in the hopes that you will have one or two at the end of the process to transfer. The recovery time um, for men is, is none, basically. For women, um, they do get anesthesia. People who are undergoing in vitro fertilization or an egg retrieval do uh, receive anesthesia. And so that day, um, people may feel groggy and out of it and have some soreness related to the procedure. The vast majority of the peop of, uh, women feel just fine to go about their normal daily life one or two days after the procedure.